So in this tutorial we're going to look at one of the transformations you need to know about and that is the rotation. Okay, And rotations require three things either to be able to do it or if you need to describe it you need to talk about these three things. They need a center of rotation, that's the point everything swivels around. They need an angle through which things turn and in this context is usually 90 degrees or 180 degrees to make life reasonably simple um, and you need a direction um, unless actually it's 180 degrees in which case it doesn't matter which way it turns and your direction is either clockwise which goes that way or anti-clockwise which goes the other way and you do need to know yes which way a clock turns. Now as I say, you either have to do the rotation or you have to describe the rotation. And we'll look at the specifics of doing that as we do these questions. Okay, so let's do this question. We've got two triangles on the grid. And the first thing we're asked to do is describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. And it says single transformation because you can't do two sorts of transformation one after the other. It's one single transformation. Now the fact that the shapes aren't the same way up would tell you that this is a, a rotation. They're the same size but different ways up so this is a rotation. Now to describe a rotation there are some fairly convoluted ways of finding the center but actually I'm going to ask you to guess the center and then check that your guess is right. So um, here we go. I'm going to guess a center. Now, obviously, it's going to be somewhere between the two things. Okay, so let's take a guess, for example, at the origin for the moment. And to check the center, we're going to join that to various corners. So we join it to equivalent corners, and we see immediately that those two lines are not the same length. They have to be the same length. So let's try a different center. Let's move across one and try this center here. And we can see if we join it to this corner in each case that those lines are the same length. But we ought to check on another corner as well. So I'm actually going to check on this corner here which is equivalent to that corner up there. And you can see that those lines are the same length as well. And so that is the center of rotation. How far is it rotated? And in which direction? Well, from A to B, it's gone through that angle there in that direction. So that is 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And we can now write down the single transformation. It is a rotation. You must write that down for one mark. Uh, center, you must write this down for another mark. And we've decided it's one naught on the grid. Um, and through 90 degrees, and that is anti-clockwise, and that will be your third mark. So if you're describing a rotation, you need those three things. As I say, there are other methods of finding the center, but I think guessing and checking is as good a method as any. You'll get very good at it if you do it that way. Now, the second thing we're asked to do is rotate this triangle, triangle B, through 180 degrees about 0 minus 1. Okay, now people will suggest you need to use tracing paper and all sorts of things or pairs of compasses, but actually I think we're better than that. So first thing we're going to do to do a rotation is we're going to mark the center on the grid. Zero minus one. I'm going to do this in a different color so my construction lines are different from the ones we've just done. Uh, so I've marked the center on uh, the grid and now I'm going to join the center to the corner of the shape. and It doesn't matter which corner, so I'm just going to join it uh, to that nearest corner. And then I'm going to essentially rotate that line I've just drawn through uh, 180 degrees. Now there is no direction because it doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to rotate this line through 180 degrees. If I go the other way I get the same line and it goes to there. And this will be the equivalent corner uh, on shape C. And all I need to do now is draw the same shape but rotated. Okay, if you want to do it with other corners you can, but actually it's just as easy to think how the shape would rotate in your head. And there it is. There is shape C. So remember, for rotations, whether you're doing or describing, 
there are three things involved. Centre, angle and direction. And that's all there is to it.